Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Guys, welcome back to the Construct Your Life podcast with your Friday rant. This is Austin Linney. What I'm going to talk today about is how we create the life that we want. We keep coming up with this same thing. You know, Austin, how do I stay consistent? How do I stay locked into what I'm doing? You know, I do great, but then I fall off for a couple of weeks or I have a good couple of days and then I don't do anything, right? And this is really the rub when you talk about everything that we're talking about. Um, I could poll 50 people right now and 48 would give me the same response. You know, I'm looking for consistency. I'm looking for consistency. And the problem is, is that the definition of your goals or where you're headed is not clearly defined. Could be one thing. The second thing is, is that you created too much complexity around what you're doing you've, uh, you know, it's all, or, uh, all or nothing, you know, uh, the way you look at it, like I, I didn't work out at all. And now I'm going to add all these things that I'm going to do in my daily routine. And, and, and by creating complexity, you know, you, you basically just don't go anywhere. And so at the end of the day, you know, it's stacking the small wins over and over again. And the way to do that is let's say that you want to start working out. Well, you're going to create a space where you, you know, walk for 10 minutes. Like the the problem is, is it's not about the outcome or the act of even doing it. It's a deposit into your future self. Every time that you commit to yourself about working out, every time you commit to yourself by eating good, it's a deposit to the future version of yourself. And the problem is, is that I'll be honest with you, I'm getting to a point where it's kind of fucking stupid to even have the conversation anymore. Like if you don't give a fuck about your health and you say you don't have the time and all this shit, like what the fuck are you talking about? You create the time. It's it's the most asinine conversation in the world. If you do not have your health, you do not have anything. And the number one place to win and to gain confidence is in your health and what you eat. Your body is a machine. And it's the thing that's going to get you to where you want to go. And so if you don't fill up the machine with good food, exercise, and moving your body, well, then what the fuck? Like, I am convinced this is a simple fact, and people might get upset when I say it. I really don't think people have a lot of problems. I think they don't feel good. Seriously. No bullshit. I've talked to doctors, yoga instructors. I think that you're sore. You're, you you have inflammation, you're not sleeping well. Like, I just think you don't feel good. I don't think you're even a bad person or have a bad attitude or, or, or can't get things accomplished. I just don't think you feel good. And it's because you haven't made health a priority. Guys, you know what, man, I have been in this short term rental game for so long. I, you know what? I think I'm paying the light bills over at Airbnb and home away and those companies they're the fees are getting ridiculous and the only way to do that is to stop building your uh real estate on somebody else's platform and my man mark simpson book direct playbook the book is coming out and this is a no-brainer we got the hotels the hotels do 50 percent uh direct booking on our website because of the tips and tricks that he's taught us with marketing and so on and so on i've got a preview of this book it is a game changer make sure you check it out dude you won't regret keeping more of your money for yourself like guys it's right there in front of you but you're not giving at the time you're not putting on the oxygen mask first everybody else gets you everybody gets your time your job your work your kids all this shit but understand if you're not right nobody's right and so The reason is, is that you're too worried about the shoes you're wearing or what's the workout you're doing or all of that shit. Like, fuck all that shit. It's the act of doing it that creates the gap in your mind to become the next version of yourself. 
And so start off small and say, I'm going to walk seven minutes a day. And then after seven days, turn that into nine minutes. It's a lifestyle creation of health, wealth, and consistency. Consistency is the key to everything. And you have to make a deposit on who you are and who you will be. And the quickest way to do that is health and consistency. And so I really hope you got some value from this. And I hope you're, you know, looking back and reflecting on your life and giving yourself the opportunity to level up yourself with your health and your wealth. Hope everybody got some value from this. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learned. For show notes, resources, and more information on one-on-one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.